Hello, everybody. Good morning. Here's a quick overview of my mobile dental setup. So here it is, you guys. Nice and simple. You don't need a lot of space. You also don't need to bring a lot of stuff. But of course, there are certain things that you do need. So I do. I go through everything in my course, Mobile RDH Academy. So definitely have a look if you are a dental hygienist who wants to start their own mobile practice. So I'm going to go through a few things with you here. So I, of course, have my trusty animal, Mr. Um, Rex. Sorry, you can see my dogs in the background here. I have my compressor. This houses the air, the water, the suction, all that fun stuff. A stool for me to sit in. This is my chair that I use for patients, my portable chair. Sorry for my dog whining, you guys. She wants to say hi. She's trying to hide her toy. <laughs> Princess, this is the table. Just a couple things that I have set up. As a mobile dental hygienist, I prefer having my instruments in actual pouches because it takes up a lot less um, room. So this is just an example for you here. This is just like a very small setup. Normally I have a lot more instruments. I have a cup for the patient to spit in if they want. I have of course um, a bib. I have a polisher. I love this polisher, you guys. It's cordless and it doesn't make a lot of noise. Kids love it. The best polisher ever. If I'm taking their temperature, a toothbrush setup, just some things for teeth whitening, the, the um, teeth whitening light if patients decide to have their teeth whitened. But look, you guys, there's my laptop there. Not a lot of stuff. So there you go. But like I said, I go through a lot more inside my course, Mobile RDH Academy. If that is something you would like to learn more about, if you want to start your own mobile practice, I would love to help you. So let me know, you guys, if any questions, and I'll see you in the next one.